Pasta bakes are a great way for feeding a family. And this one is very, very quick, very simple. Um, we're gonna brown off some chicken and uh, start the cooking process. And this is some three Simply Better uh, corn-fed chicken breasts, cut into nice big cubes. I'm gonna heat my pan and then I'm gonna use some rapeseed oil and I'm gonna use some butter because the rapeseed oil will stop the butter from burning and the butter and the rapeseed oil together will give the most beautiful flavor. So these are the skinless chicken breasts that we're using and um, just cut them into nice big chunks. But this recipe can be done if you've left over roast chicken, which is perfect. So just mix it all together. That goes in there, kind of spread it out. And then we're gonna season this. So I've just got a couple of nice big chunks, three chicken breasts, that's all out there. A little bit of salt and some black pepper. Now, so we're gonna let that cook off for a minute or two. It's a really, really quick and simple recipe, I think so and uh, I already have one done in the oven because you need to cook it for about 15 to 20 minutes uh, depending on how well and how big you cut the chicken uh, because I want nice big chunks of it. Okay, while that's cooking up, I want to talk to you what I've done with the pasta. So this is the bronze dye pasta in the Fuseli. I really like this and there's lots of different shapes. You have the little bow shapes and you have the rigatoni and that. So this is the PGI logo. So bronze dye, what it means is that it's uh, pushed through a plate and it's like a brass plate, so it is, that pushes through the pasta and it gives it the, sh the kind of texture. So if you zoom in there, Melna, and you can see that little bit of texture, so that will catch the sauce. Now, all I've done is literally cooked half the packet, okay, in boiling salted water, and this is it here cooked. That's it there. So slightly undercooked it and then just strained it off. If you want to do this ahead, you can, um, cold water, it will stop it from sticking. So I just want to leave that there. Back onto our chicken. Keep the pan nice and high. You're getting that nice little bit of color in there. That's really important. You can use the tongs, but I'm using the spatula just for flipping it over. So my whole idea behind this is just to seal off the chicken. It's not cooking in the pan, it's gonna cook in the oven. But then you get all the lovely flavor and it'll absorb all those lovely um, juices from this tomato sauce, which I'm gonna show you. So this is a new um, red pepper and ricotta sauce or you can use the lovely tomato and basil sauce. So what I love about these sauces, I met the producer in, um, in Italy about five years ago for my uh, Italian food trails, but they're very clean. There's no added sugar, which is fantastic. So if you look at the ingredients here, Mella, you can see that there, there's lots of vegetables in it there, courgette, carrots, peppers, Italian peppers, but it's the, for me in Italy, it's the intense flavor from the, sun that gives the tomatoes and the basil the most amazing flavor uh, i like i'm going to add some extra peppers as well as the sauce so these are the grilled peppers here that we're using you see me using that lots and that's just a couple of red and yellow in there and that's going to go into the pan so they're already grilled so all you're doing is just warming this up now your kids may not like those peppers you could use sweet corn you could use peas so you can mix it up whatever way you want to so just give this a nice stir around then we're going to put in our sauce so there's a little bit of a texture there you can just zoom in there Mella. but it is the cleanest tomato sauce you know there's no added sugar because it's just the sweetness that they, they naturally get it's the intensity of the sun and their basil too it's incredible okay into that we're going to put in some of the fresh pesto so this is it here and i always have this in my fridge I love this. Even over some grilled um, sourdough bread with a little bit of prosciutto of the parma. It's so beautiful. So I'm going to put in about three spoonfuls of this. It'll give a lovely flavour. And then I'm going to put in some extra basil. I know I'm using the pesto, but I have a basil plant here. And we're just going to stir this through. Now, in goes my pasta. So remember, I've launched off the pasta. I've cooked it for about what, maybe six minutes. So I already have one ready uh, in the oven because it does take it does take at least um, well over 15 20 minutes to actually cook it out now so you're mixing through the pasta so with that pasta there it's going to um, catch that sauce and kind of coat it perfect now into this some lovely fresh basil so lovely beautiful fresh basil it's one of my favorite herbs I'm sure you know that by now and we're just going to chop this really, really quickly or you can tear it whatever way you want to i'll just kind of cut it very roughly curve your fingers 
and then just literally pop that in so normally you wouldn't be chopping um, basil because it goes black so it doesn't oxidize but because we're using it straight away okay so that's it we've seasoned uh, up the chicken uh, there should be no need to add any extra this is um, my oven proof dish part of my cookware collection and what we're going to do is just switch this off and we're going to bring this over here so you're just going to put this all in here mm. so you have that lovely ricotta cheese that really really delicious corn fed chicken so it's fed on maize succulent always tender love it and you can see the way now that's one jar that i've used for half a pack so that would feed anything between four to six people okay what we're going to do next is we're going to put some of the drina cheese we're going to grate some parmesan and then we're going to get a nice little crust using some of the giabatta crumbs there so we we'll just use a little bit of cheddar first of all so sprinkle this all over go right to the edge and then we're going to put some of the simply better parmesan cheese watch the fingers now when you're doing this okay so that's one and then our breadcrumbs so just sprinkle this just right to the edge so it's going to give a lovely kind of a, a crust or like a, a crumble effect and you could put in some nuts if you want i'm not going to do that but you could and then some more cheese and then it needs to go into the oven so i'll go we'll have the grater here some more parmesan and then the rest of the cheddar and you can mix in some extra herbs if you want to have a little bit of chopped parsley it's up to you but the key is that really nice chicken that beautiful italian pasta and that sauce is so good so that needs to go into the oven at 180 so i have one done i'm going to show you i'll play musical chairs um, and that's going to take about 15 to 20 minutes until it's lovely and golden brown so just be careful taking it out yeah. lovely here we go so this is it here you get the nice crust now if i keep quiet can you hear that sizzle so you can hear that kind of sizzle because it is actually piping hot what i would do is let that cool down for about five minutes or a little bit more and then put it at the table let everyone help themselves just with this we're going to serve a little bit of salad just keep it very simple i think you have everything you need in there you have your chicken you have your pasta you have some extra vegetables from our nice um, sauce but also from the peppers that we added in the grilled peppers a little bit of vinegar we're using the balsamic vinegar and then just a little bit of grated parmesan just on the salad and a little bit of extra virgin olive oil and then we'll spoon that out now but it's a very very simple and quick recipe and i think it'll be perfect you know when for kids for families everyone so if you go in there mella look how moist that is breadcrumbs if you're gluten-free you can get some gluten-free breadcrumbs these are the giabatta bread that we're using look at that and the chicken to make sure that that is hot you'll not be uh, eating that straight away sometimes a dish like this it's just nicer to serve in a, in a bowl and just place it on the table but i just wanted to spoon it out just to show you a little bit of pepper there look at the diced pepper so you're not going to be uh, hungry after this lovely and just get a little bit more of that nice crust because they get really nice and uh, crispy and that's what you want in the oven so serve that with a nice crisp salad that's it i think that is a lovely uh, family favorite and that's my chicken and pasta uh, bake done with those lovely breadcrumbs and uh, that lovely uh, red pepper and ricotta sauce which gives a lovely creaminess to it it's a lovely lovely recipe this so hope you try it and the secret is that really good chicken too so happy cooking and happy eating thank you